Oh, oh it's uh, Home Alone. Yeah, this right? one's really good. Dude, this one is really good. This one was probably this one of my favorites. Yeah, this, <clears throat> this one's fantastic from a sales perspective. Yeah, dude, this is fantastic. Yeah. Macaulay Culkin is actually really good at. Yeah. The, I mean, obviously. She's getting some milk, some bread, dude. some mac. Are these microwave dinners any good? Bro, what? This is phenomenal. I really want to know already off the top, off the are bat, those, right? Are those microwave are those microwaves any, good? any good? No, I really want to know. Like, are they any good? The I care. Hidden, I really want to know. Those, are these what, any good, dude? man? How did I not catch this? We literally watched this like two weeks ago. Really? Are those microwave dinners any good? I don't know. I'll give them a whirl. Did you see her, him match her? Yeah, it was pretty here. Good. Sorry, not see here. I guess see too. Here and see. For the kids. <laughs> dude. Hold on, I got a coupon for that. It was in the paper this morning. What tonality was that? Which one do you use? Hold on, I got a coupon for that. Like implied obviousness? Yep. Like it was in the paper. You guys were in the paper this morning. On, Obviously. Didn't you get your coupon? Oh, because there we go. If there you we go. were trying to convince someone that you were uh, that you're okay doing this, right? Because he's not mm -hmm. supposed to be here. Yeah. You'd use a lot what of would you say? Obvious. Obviousness, yeah, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because otherwise, if well, uh, he gets to that and he proves that really, he well, does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He actually has a, he does it phenomenally. Yeah. Here in mm. just a sec. 1983. Okay. Five minutes. Hmm. Are you here all by yourself? Damn, I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. Interesting. Where's your mom? My mom's in the car. Where's your father? He's at work. What about your brothers and your sisters? I'm an only child. Obviousness oh, again. Huh. Uh, I can't tell you that. Why not? Because you're a stranger. Huh. Um. Is, he's a lot this, of obviousness. So that. that last thing he says, because you're a stranger. Um, it's like. It's almost like scarcity, actually. Hmm. Because the, <laughs> his vocal tone of voice act is almost implying that this is a piece of information that I'm not allowed to tell you. Yeah. You're strange. Interesting, dude. That was fascinating. Sure in the and if we have more time, we'd dive deeper into that. But like, what are your guys' big takeaways? Um, if you do implied obviousness right, you can get anyone to believe anything you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's a powerful technique for sure. Couple that with a good logical case, though. Yeah. yeah if you just sound like right? a ding dong with your logical case, then you're a 50 50 chance. But yeah. Like he was sure. so clear with what his points were, and he was able to build value on those points with, like, obviously, this is why I'm at the store. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Like, why are you even it's asking? Like, me? Come That's on. That's a stupid question. Yeah. You don't have your coupon? Like, come on. Step up, lady. <laughs> but that, <laughs> that, that, was cool. <laughs> that was cool.